What's up everyone, my name is Frank, hope you're having a great day today. In today's video, I'll be reviewing what most people consider the industry standard in eSports controllers, the Scuf Reflex Pro. I've been waiting a while now to make this video, so let's find out why most pro players choose Scuf as their preferred controller. As always, I'll be leaving timestamps down below in the description so y'all can't skip to a part of the video that you want to see first. Today's video is made possible by Mega Mods. A huge shout out to them for supplying the controller in today's video. Mega Mods create top tier elite modded and esports ready controllers. If you're interested in purchasing one of their products, make sure to use my affiliate link found down below in the description to save a couple bucks on your next purchase. If you guys are ready for this video, smash that like button and let's get started. Scuf Gaming was founded in 2011 and they are the leading creator of high performing gaming controllers and accessories for console and PC. Their product features are built to maximize hand use and improve gameplay. They are used by professional esports gamers as well as the casual gamer. The Scuf Reflex is their latest controller edition for the PlayStation 5. It was released on May 10th, 2022 and the Scuf Reflex uses the DualSense as its base keeping all of its standard features but adding a vast array of performance features and customization options. The Reflex starts at 199 USD and offers remappable paddles, adaptive triggers, and onboard profiles. The Reflex Pro starts at 219 USD and includes all of the Reflex features plus added non-slip performance grips. The Reflex FPS starts at 249 USD and includes all of the Reflex Pro features plus added instant triggers and no vibration modules. There are also a wide variety of customizations that can be done to personalize the controller, such as changing the color of the faceplate, touchpad trim, thumbsticks, rings, bumpers, triggers, D-pad, face buttons, option button, home button, back, and the rumbles. The main competitors for this controller are Sony's DualSense Edge, Razer's Wolverine V2 Pro, and PDP's Victrix Pro BFG. Since these controllers are custom built, they come with six months of warranty. The box sleeve has a matte finish to it with orange accents and is loaded with product information throughout the sides and rear. Sliding off the sleeve reveals a glossy hexagonal design and the box retains the orange accents. Opening up the lid reveals the controller. It is well secured in place and won't move during transport. The controller sits in a molded plastic base and the thumbsticks are protected by a foam padding which gives great support. Let's remove the controller and set it to the side, we'll get to it next. A black plastic bag similar to a garbage bag sits at the bottom of the plastic base to protect the controller, a bit of an awkward choice in my opinion. Removing the plastic base reveals the sleek black accessories box and user manual. In the accessories box, you will find the additional thumbsticks and six foot long USB type C cable. Holding the controller for the first time, I definitely feel it has some weight to it, weighing in at 300 grams. The scuff and product logos can be found at the top, side, bottom of the thumbsticks and side of the trim plate. They are very subtle, which I like. The bottom of the controller has a 3.5 millimeter headphone port and speaker with mic mute function. The triggers and bumpers are instant and give that satisfying mouse click sound. The D-pad and buttons are standard as well as the thumbstick modules. The rear of the controller has an impressive large rubberized textured grip. The back paddle module definitely looks like an add-on but it's solid and well built. All four paddles are responsive and have the hexagonal design. For those who love the dual sense, they'll feel comfortable and at home using this controller. In all, the Scuf Reflex Pro has a premium feel to it, it's well built, and you can tell it's made for some serious competitive gaming. The Scuf Reflex is compatible not only with the PlayStation 5, but also with Windows 7 and up, Mac OS Catalina and up, iOS 10 and up, and Android. The controller can be used both wirelessly with a range of 45 feet and wired by using the provided six foot long USB type C cable. Having grips on the handles is a great addition to any controller to improve feel and comfort. The Reflex Pro has an impressive hexagonal textured soft rubberized grip which covers the entire back handle section. This is great to improve comfort during long intense gaming sessions as your fingers will have plenty of grip to keep the controller secured and prevent it from sliding. 
Having interchangeable thumbsticks is great to further customize the controller to the player's preference. The controller comes standard with two additional thumbsticks, one short domed and one long domed. I made the mistake of ordering the controller with a long dome stick installed, so make sure to choose differently so that you can maximize the thumbstick choices. The thumbsticks are made of a soft, grippy rubber with a hexagonal texture around the sides. In order to change the thumbsticks, first remove the trim plate by lifting the corner edge up with your fingernail. Once unclipped, work your way around the trim plate. Next, pull up from the middle of the trim plate to remove it. Pick the thumbstick that you want to remove and pull up hard. This will require some force as the thumbsticks are pressed into place. Once removed, grab the thumbstick that you want to install, align the bottom slot, and press down hard. Grab the trim plate and insert the top two teeth in first, and then press down on the trim plate to click it into place, starting with the middle and working your way around the edges. All Pro eSport controllers are equipped with some sort of trigger lock system. This is an essential feature to improve reaction and response time. I have my controller equipped with the instant triggers and it does not require much force or distance to activate, which is great for quick response. But this means that I won't be able to use this controller in racing games or games which rely on trigger modulation. Out of all the controllers that I have tested so far, this one has the shortest and quickest trigger activation, which is ideal for FPS games. Another feature that all pro eSport controllers have are the remappable back paddles. These back paddles are essential to improve character movement and reaction time by keeping your thumbs planted on the thumbsticks and utilizing your free fingers on the back. The Reflex controller has four remappable back paddles, and with my natural grip on the controller, I have all four fingers nicely placed on the paddles and they are comfortable to use. If I loosen up my grip slightly, I can use only two fingers to activate the paddles. The paddles are ergonomically placed and have a large surface area which is great to accommodate a wide variety of hand sizes and player styles. I do find that the outer two paddles require slightly more force to be activated, so this might be something that can be improved on for the next scuff controller. Also, it would be nice for the paddles to have a slightly more textured grip to them, but in all, the paddles are great and will definitely help improve gameplay. The back paddles can be remapped directly from the controller and there are three preset profiles to choose from. Press the profile button to cycle through profiles, starting with blue, FPS profile, then red, sport profile, and then green, racing profile. Choose the profile that you want to edit and then press and hold on the profile button until it starts to blink. Next, you can remap any paddle by simultaneously pressing the paddle and the button that you want it to mimic. The profile button will flash white to indicate that the paddle has been mapped. Repeat these steps to remap the remaining paddles. When finished, press the profile button again to save your configuration. All the reviews that I have recently done were all leading to this one. These controllers all have their own strengths and weaknesses, but only one can reign supreme as the top PS5 Pro eSport controller. The PDP Victrix Pro BFG is the only controller in this category to offer modular design, has a new clutch trigger system, and large handle grips, but lacks standard dual sense features and needs to be refined. But Razer Wolverine V2 Pro has an impressive battery life, new mecha tactile buttons, and six remappable back buttons, but has an awkward, bulky design, poor back button placement, and lacks accessories for its price. The Sony DualSense Edge has an impressive replaceable thumbstick module system, ergonomic paddle placement with two style choices, is loaded with accessories and powerful application, but has poor battery life, lacks micro switch buttons and bumpers, and only has two back paddles. The Scuf Reflex Pro shares attributes from all of these controllers. It has the large textured handle grips as the Victrix, instant triggers and micro switch bumpers from the Wolverine, and the build quality and ergonomics of the Edge. With all of these great features, the Scuf Reflex Pro definitely reigns supreme as the top PS5 Pro eSport controller. However, this controller isn't without faults. It is the most expensive in this category, missing the carrying case, lacking accessories, 
We're lacking improvements to the D-pad and face buttons and no application. For those of you who are in the market for a top tier pro eSport controller and who don't mind dishing out the money, I do recommend the Scuf Reflex Pro because of its impressive design features such as instant triggers, micro switch bumpers, textured handle grips, ergonomic paddle design, all of the standard dual sense features, and the choice to personalize the controller's color. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed with this controller. If you have any question what I spoke about in today's video, I'll be leaving a link down below to join the Mega Mods forum, hop in and ask your questions. Myself and Mega Mods will be there to assist you. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below in the video and hit me up on social media. It is always a pleasure helping you guys out and interacting with my community. You guys are all amazing. Many more review videos to come. I have a load of esports controllers lined up, so stay tuned. If you all enjoy watching the video, make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and share with your friends. Greatly appreciated. If you are new to my channel, check me out for the very first time. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with my content, and don't forget to press that bell to become part of my notification squad. You guys are all amazing. A huge shout out to the sponsors, to the new subscribers, to the Spar Troopers. You guys are amazing. Everyone, have a great rest of your day or night. We're never watching this video and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.